Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm David, this is an Englishman in the Balkans. And this YouTube channel is all about uh, my life together with my wife who comes from Banja Luka in the north uh, of the country. And the channel is all about our daily lives, things that we experience, how we live, how life is different from maybe where you are in Western Europe, North America, Malaya, uh, wherever. Uh, if it's something that you think you might be interested in, please uh, subscribe, press the button with the bell so that you get notified every time we uh, upload a video. And I'd like to say before we go any further, thank you very much to Miriana Dojinovic, who is the first Patreon for the channel. Hooray for that. Um, and if you'd like to support the channel, just for a few dollars a month, help us continue creating content, please do. The reason I just looked down is a little mole has disappeared down a hole in the garden. It's sunny. It's very warm on my shoulders at the moment, but we're at the end of January. And here it should be snow, or at least bloody cold. I remember when I was a kid back in the UK, every time we got cold then, we'd either turn the radiator up or change the thermostat setting. But out here in the village, life is not that simple. One, we do have electricity into the house, but we do suffer uh, power outages at times from maybe just half an hour to sometimes two days or three days um, at a stretch, depending on what repairs the electric company are doing. And in winter, that means we're gonna get cold. So traditionally here in this part of Bosnia and the whole country really, people have relied on wood. Bosnia is a country full of forests. So wood is not in short supply. When I first came here uh, and Tam and I got together, we used to burn a lot of wood. It used to come along, we used to get a delivery of wood, maybe in late September, early October. But now we've changed and we're using something we think is more eco-friendly, which are sawdust briquettes. So it's pressed sawdust uh, that comes in plastic packaging. Please don't get annoyed about the plastic packaging. It needs to have plastic around it so that if it gets damp that the sawdust doesn't fall to pieces. But we do recycle our plastic either weekly or bi-weekly, put it in the car and we take it into Banja Luka and drop it off at a recycling centre. So this is the, the briquette store, call it the wood store really. So as you can see the briquettes are wrapped up in plastic which isn't eco-friendly but they are compressed briquette so it's sawdust let's see if we can right let's see so better than wood and a lot of people here still use wood so if you come to the country and you're out in restaurants and people have got wood burners they actually burn wood we um burn briquettes and we had another line already along here that's gone so far and we'll work through this and there are two more lines of briquettes. We recycle the plastic. The plastic we put into a, another larger plastic bag and then we take it to the recycling uh, in Banja Luka. So yeah, who knows? this isn't winter. This is the last week of January and it's, it's like spring. The electricity that we get in the house, we live downstairs, uh, the electricity gives us all our hot water and water for showering and you know doing kitchen work and, and all the rest of that but we don't get uh, heating from electricity we use our briquettes for that and we have a wood burner uh, in the living room which keeps the whole of the downstairs of the house really roasty toasty warm and i think uh, using briquettes to be honest might be a lot cheaper than using the electricity when we have friends and family to stay or guests who are staying upstairs in the house then we use our big central heating boiler uh, to provide the heating and the hot water for the whole house and once again we're using briquettes um, this uh, boiler has been in the house since Tam and I got together so what that's over 17 years now it's really really good it is getting a little bit uh, old at the moment but um, you know every hour or two throw another log on Uncle John and we keep up to the temperature that we need. It has a very, very simple thermostat um, and you can't ask for anything more than that. And therefore we don't have to rely uh, when the snow comes down, if the electricity goes down or anything else, that we're gonna get cold. And uh, I failed to mention as well that in the living room on our uh, 
uh, wood burner, we can actually use it as a stove. We've never baked inside it yet, but we've certainly boiled up pots of water um, on top. That's how we keep warm in the winter and on cold days here in the village. Thank the Lord for pressed sawdust briquettes. Well, that's it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one. If you like the channel, do subscribe, share, thumbs up for a like and press the bell uh, so that we notify you every time there's a new video uploaded. And if you want to find out more or you're interested in anything in particular about living here in the north of the country, then please do uh, drop us a comment. Until next time, do stay safe.